What's going on guys? Cal here with Jailbreak Central and today this is going to be a video on Twitter. Now this is a Twitter tutorial. I'm going to be going over all the basic features of Twitter, basically how to use it. Uh, subscribers just did this because he wanted to see how it was done and basically just how to use Twitter. Uh, if you guys have any video suggestions you want to see, anything you want me to explain, feel free to leave that in the comments. Uh, but moving on here, this is the Twitter app itself. Now when you first open up Twitter, you will get something called the Timeline. Now what this tab is, is it is just a list of all the people that you follow and um, all of their tweets. So anytime they tweet something, it will show up in your timeline uh, and this will all be chronologically, of course. Now you can tap on tweets to get a little bit more of an in-depth guide here. I'll just show you real quick. Uh, this is a Gizmodo tweet, I believe. And you can see that it brings up the picture. You can scroll down. You can see how many retweets it has, how many favorites, uh, as well as you can reply. You can retweet it and stuff like that. Uh, again, the little, uh, the three little options underneath each tweet uh, is reply, retweet, and then favorite, and you can tap on those to do all that stuff. Now, if you tap on the top left-hand corner, this just basically brings up a search option for you to find new people to follow, as well as categories. You can pick, uh, you know, a topic that you're interested in, and then you can go ahead and follow them. Moving over to the right, there's another little search option. This just allows you to search anything on Twitter. You can search for people's Twitter handles which is their username. You can search for topics. You can see if I type in iPhone, it brings up not only people um, that I'm following here, but it also brings up just simple topics. If I click on iPhone 6, it will bring up all the top tweets for iPhone 6 um, and helps me discover some new people to follow uh, and just basically search for anything on Twitter. Now over to the right of that, you can see that this is where you compose your own tweets. So if you want to tweet to anyone, anyone who follows you, when you type something into this box, and then submit it, it will tweet it to them, and they will see it in their timeline, and then uh, you can add uh, videos, you can add pictures, anything you want. Uh, it's a really nice uh, interface, you can see you can just brings up the camera roll on the bottom there. You can even add a location, so when you tweet this, it'll show where you are located in the world, uh, so people can, people can check out where you are, kind of cool. Um, but again, that's how you post a tweet. Now on the bottom, moving over to the right, you have a tab called Notifications. Once you click on notifications, it brings up all of the interactions with your own Twitter. So anyone who follows you, anyone who likes, um, you know, anyone who favorites one of your tweets, retweets one of your tweets, it will show up in this box. Now this is a great way to get in touch with people. If they have questions, if they reply to your tweets, um, you can check out what they're saying and then just have a conversation with them. Basically, it's just a way to see what's going on with your actual Twitter and what people are talking about. Now moving over to the right, again you have a tab called Messages. This is where you can start private conversations with people. If you have, again, more in-depth questions, you want to talk to them for a little while, uh, then you can start conversations with them. Again, if you go to the top right, you can search for people and then uh, send them a message. That's the best way to get a hold of me, by the way. If you guys want to tweet me a question, something like that, just start a message uh, and you can ask me any question you want. Now over to the right, again, we have the, uh, the Me tab. And now, what that is, is just your Twitter. It shows all the tweets that you've, you've sent out. It shows uh, all the people following you, all the people you're following, and just a general overview of your account. Uh, now, if you swipe up on your account, you actually can add multiple accounts. If you have a second Twitter, you know, like I have my Twitter for my YouTube channel, you can also add your personal Twitter. Uh, just basically stuff like that, and it's just a nice little interface. The slide always looks really good. Um, now, back to the timeline. You can actually swipe right and left to get some more tabs, uh, and this tab is called Discover. When you swipe to the right of the timeline again, uh, then you will get activity. Discover just basically you know, gives you some recommended people to follow and some recommended tweets based on your interests. Activity is sort of similar stuff, uh, just people, uh, topics that you might generally be interested in. You can see WWDC is up there for me, uh, and just basically help you discover more stuff to follow and uh, check out on Twitter. Uh, that's pretty much it for the Twitter video. There's not much. Uh, just real quick, I need to go over TweetBot. I'm not going to actually show you guys the app, but if you're wondering what any third-party applications do, it's just a different interface. You know, it, it, they all do the same thing as Twitter, as the official Twitter app, but they organize it in slightly different ways. Sometimes uh, a lot of people like that better than the, the actual Twitter app, but I find that Twitter does a pretty good job with their app, and you don't really need to pay any money for an app like TweetBot, anything like that. Um, so that's pretty much it guys, that is how to use Twitter, tutorial for Twitter. Again, if you have if you have any questions, anything that you think I missed, feel free to leave that in the comments. Other than that, 
Hope you guys have a great day, and as always, see you guys later.